All right, here's the thing. I'm not suggesting that for sure Alex Jones is a shill. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I think it's highly possible. All right? Now, what I'd like you to do if you had a little bit of time, and if, if, if you don't, then don't. I don't give a fuck. But you can bet your ass I'm going to. Because I look at it this way. The closer we get to this NDAA, we better know who the fuck is on whose side immediately. You got that? We don't have time to play games anymore. You know what I'm saying? This isn't... We don't, we don't have time to sit there and have guessing games and play a little fucking immature bullshit with anyone. We need to know who the fuck is dirty and who ain't. You know what I'm saying? Period. The end. <coughs> All right. Well, let's do some math. Why is it that when you go to Alex Jones's channel and you try to send him an email, you can't send him an email on his Alex Jones channel of any account that you have? Go check. Go try. Mm -mm. Well, why not? Why couldn't you? Do you have to be his friend? I mean, how does that work? Can anybody send him an email? I don't think so. Because he's got some lock shit on there or whatever, right? Well, why would you want to lock people out of communicating with you? If you're the... Who gives a shit if you get 500 emails a day? It's called the internet, dude. It's called interaction. Whatever. What is this I don't have time bullshit? That's right up there with the Mr. Somebody attitude. You know what I'm saying? He might have it set to friends only. Okay, which is fine. But still, think about it. You're supposed to be the leader of the anti-New World Order movement, but meanwhile, you got everything locked up. That's bullshit. How do you know that a dude is not going to give you some life-saving in information or whatever kind of information? Okay, that's first of all. Second of all, what the fuck is his crew running around for? with cell phones using Skype. Why in the fuck are you not GPS protected? You know these Nimrods are following you around. You know they have your shit tapped. What the fuck are you doing? Are you trying to give out the news? Or are you trying to give out controlled news? Do you understand my meaning? When I saw that 2 minutes and 32 second footage that someone sent me today through Skype, it was just a YouTube video. I guess they grabbed it. It's a shitty quality. I do. I will say that. This guy's talking in front of a house, and just suddenly a police officer shows up. Excuse me. How did these motherfuckers know that you're there? Hmm. What the neighbors call? Oh, there's somebody standing out in front of a house. And when I went, hey, how you doing, werewolf? When I saw the end of the video, it said something like the homeowner had died. Well, if the homeowner's dead, how in the fuck did these police officers find you so quickly? Just curious. You know? Was that, like, set up like you wanted them to find you? Did they just find you because they got your GPS stamp? You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on? You know? Here's another thing. If you want to, and again, I re I'm, I'm just saying, if you want to find out if Mr. Alex Jones is a shill, ask him on air if he pays federal income tax. It's a yes or no question. If he says, well, I don't have to answer that. I'm a, that's private information. No, bitch. You're a public figure. You told God and everybody that you're number one on the radio. Remember? Well, if you're a public figure, then you're, you're under the scope of fucking public scrutiny. Right? I mean, we get a report that Warren Buffett fucking pays taxes and how much he paid, and we don't need to know how much you pay. Just curious if you pay them. If you do pay federal income taxes, you know that federal income tax is a fucking fraud and all the money of your federal income tax goes to foreign bankers. 
and foreign interests. So what the fuck are you paying interest, a federal income tax for? If on air he says no, the mainstream media is going to eat him alive. Everybody in the entire United States is going to find out quickly who Alex Jones is and what's he all about. So it's actually helping people, even more people that don't even know who he is. Now this is going to crack you up. It sure is, and you probably don't know the information. And the information was very quiet when it happened. There was a company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. The name of the company was ran by a gentleman by the name of Steve Gibson. All right, The name of that company was called Right Haven LLC. They were an extension of the Las Vegas Journal Review. You're going to love this. The Las Vegas Journal Review or Review Journal or however the fuck you want to put it was an online rag. Okay? Just an internet online news organization, whatever. This news organization owns a shitload of other online rags and newspapers throughout the Midwest. Alright? Now, Wright Haven and who ran that, a gentleman by the name of Steve Gibson. All right, He was an attorney with Wright Haven LLC that tried to put the squeeze on all these patriot motherfuckers, all these patriot websites, including the Daily Paul. Now, the guy that runs the Daily Paul is only one guy. It's not like he has a staff. It's just him and himself. He's a great guy, by the way. Okay? These idiots even went after, if you can only believe it, all these militia websites that would take little fragments of Las Vegas Journal Reviews stories and these other different stories or mainstream media houses, and they they went after Jason out of Florida. He owns Godlike Productions. Sure did. This, this ain't bullshit. Go look it up. Mm -hmm. And they went after every Patriot website you could shake a stick at. And guess whoever, guess who else they went after? They went after Prison Planet. Who owns Prison Planet? And InfoWars. Hmm? Uh, does anybody know who owns InfoWars? Does anybody have a clue? Now check this out. Steve Gibson of Wright Haven. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and type it in so you can go look it up. I don't give a shit. I know what I'm talking about. Wright Haven LLC. Wright Haven of LLC tried to put the squeeze on all these different websites and was going to sue them for $150,000 per incident. Now all these motherfuckers are terrified. They get a letter in the mail and says, oh, by the way, we're suing you for copyright infringement. We're suing you for plagiarism because you grabbed an entire story off of this rag or that rag or this internet site that the Las Vegas Re Review fucking owns, blah, 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 and all this garbage. And fucking Steve Gib Gibson of uh, Wright Haven LLC was a strong arm. Now pay attention, motherfuckers, because this is newsworthy in my opinion. Absolutely. Now let's do some math. I'm not trying to manipulate your decision, but let's do some math. You are a proponent of freedom of speech. You're a proponent of the New World Orders, cocksuckers. we got to stand up and we got to fight against these criminal, no good, piece of shit bastards. Right? That would be who? Alex Jones. He, he tells us every day how big and successful he is and how wonderful he is, but he's not like kind of one of us. He lives behind a gated community, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. Okay, so I can't knock him there. <laughs> but I am a nobody. All right. <laughs> All right. So, but he reminds us how much he's against the New World Order and these guys are cocksuckers and they're this and they're that and the other. Right? Well, um, hmm. A lot of different companies 
that were being sued by Steve Gibson of Wright Haven LLC were settling out of court for the sums of $2,500. I think one of them settled out of court for like 50 grand. So I'm sitting there in the background watching this shit and going through a list of all these motherfuckers these cocksuckers are following suit against. <coughs> and I'm thinking, yay, he's going after fucking prison planet Infowars, whatever. This is great, because Alex Jones is going to eat this motherfucker for lunch. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. You're going to love this. Six weeks later, guess who settled out of court? Alex Jones. Go look it up, motherfuckers. That's a fact, Jack. So let me ask you a question. How many times have you heard Alex Jones out of his own mouth talk about how he's spending $20,000 for bandwidth? Hmm? How many times have you heard him say that? Right? Excuse me. If you're spending $20,000 on bandwidth, I myself own seven websites right now, and I'm in control of four of them. You got that? Three of them, I don't fucking... Uh, I mean, I own them, but I don't manage them. Somebody else is managing them. Don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I know what bandwidth cost. I know that if you pull a T1 or T3, how much goody shit you can get out of that T1 or T3. Or if you're running over fiber optic bullshit. Don't try to pull a fast one on me about your $20,000 a month garbage. Okay? Nonsense. It's bullshit. You got that? I'd love to talk to fucking Alex Jones live and ask him why he's full of shit. Don't give me that $20,000 in bandwidth nonsense. It's garbage. All right? So my question is, if you're such a adamant proponent and you're such an adamant believer of freedom of speech and or what is called either file sharing. It's not even file sharing. It would be what is apropos or what is considered professionally right all over the internet is you have one or two paragraphs of the story and you leave a link so that they can read the rest of the story. That is internet courtesy. That's just the way it goes. Everybody does it in the world. Everyone. So why is it that you're such an outspoken individual about these corrupt bankers and these corrupt motherfuckers and this, that, and the other, and they're trying to do this, and they're trying to do that. But meanwhile, you turn around, pussy out, and have a settlement with Steve Gibson of Wright Haven LLC. Why would that happen? Hmm? Just curious. Now here's the climax of this story. Just recently, within the last six to ten months, Wright Haven LLC was deemed that they were extorting people. In other words, they're a fraud. Isn't that neat? Oops. Hmm. You think I'm playing? I ain't playing. Go look it up. Go look it up, man. You'll see it right there in front of God and everybody. They settled out of court. Now, why would you do that? Meanwhile, all these other patriot websites, like the Daily Paul, and I'm not kidding, that guy is cool as shit. The guy who owns the Daily Paul, great guy. All these other dudes, a lot of fucking website that you're going to recognize if you do the if you do your homework. In other words, all these other people that are either in direct competition with Alex Jones or work side by side as far as information goes. He probably knew at least a third of them, if not half of them. And he pussies out and settles? That tells me a lot, dude. I mean, listen, I'm sorry. That tells me a lot. Here's another thing. If everybody remembers... When a rally was supposed to happen in Austin, Texas, I believe it was 2010, maybe it was 2011, but I'm pretty sure it was 2010. I could be mistaken. I can't remember the exact year. There was a rally, and he was invited to that rally in Austin, Texas. 
he declined to go. These motherfuckers had to rally any goddamn way. Well, guess who shows up after the rally is already in session? He declined to go to the rally. So the rally happened anyway. He comes waltzing in there like he's, you know, King Tut and shit, blasting his own fucking horn. He makes a big scene. He takes over the fucking rally. All these people surround him. They're up his ass on, hey, you you declined to come to our rally in the first place. Now you're showing up and you're taking over a rally and fuck off and eat a dick or whatever. Now he made a statement there to a woman that was up his ass about what he was doing. And this is a statement he made. I'm going to be here in 20 years, woman. Know it. And now he didn't say know it. He goes, I'm going to be here in 20 years. I'm going to be here in 20 years. Excuse me. Supposedly, you're a knuck knucklehead running around the world telling everybody about the operations of the NSA, the operations of the Department of Homeland Security, the operations of the ATF, and all these creepy motherfucking agencies all over the United States. And you're burping out of your mouth that you're going to be around in 20 years? Boy, you're pretty fucking confident. How could you be confident? How would you say something like that? You couldn't say something like that unless what? Unless you knew you were being protected. Do you agree? I mean, can you imagine, can you imagine our good buddy, Billy? You know Billy Cooper? You guys remember Billy Cooper, right? coming out and saying, oh, I'm going to be around 20 years, I'm going to be around? No. Could you imagine that? He'd never do it because he knew he knew that his shit was going to be in the wind. He was murdered on his front porch. Yeah, he was armed. I'll, I'll give you that. But you know what? It is my, this is only my opinion. I don't have anything to substantiate this or prove it. It is my opinion that Mr. Billy Cooper could not be bought. He couldn't be bought. So that's, and if you remember, Billy Cooper came first, Alex Jones came second. Or Billy Cooper was established for the most part. And Alex Jones was kind of established, not quite creeping, you know what I mean? They ran head to head or whatever. Billy Cooper could not be fucking bought. Billy Cooper was fucking murdered and somebody else took his place. Billy Cooper fucking, out of his own mouth, predicted 9-11, not Alex Jones. It was Billy Cooper, goddammit. I don't know how many times I could tell people that. It's a crack up. Go research it if you don't believe me. Billy Cooper said a lot of shit that AJ would never say. Here's another problem. When AJ wanted to be put on the map, there was videos that came out of him stomping into where? The Bohemian Grove, California. At the Bohemian Grove, he talks about how he had altercations with the Sheriff's Department and law enforcement and the security detail at the Bohemian Grove. He also states in those videos that when he was asked by law enforcement, or excuse me, by specifically the Bushes, in other words, President Bush, the Bushes' personal security detail, he stated that he was with the old boy network because that was code for, I'm cool, leave me alone. Guess what there, ladies and gentlemen? One year prior to going into the Bohemian Grove, Alex Jones was arrested at the DuPont Corporation barking his fucking chumpers against two, George Bush. Something's wrong with this picture, man. I'm telling you. I, I'm sorry. I'm not an idiot, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nobody, but I'm not stupid. And it is my, my opinion, and I'm not going after him because he blocked me off the Alex Jones channel. But the more I get to thinking about shit, I'm starting to think, okay, he put out some stupid video. I can't even remember what it was. I did a video where I objected. I was like, nah, I don't think so, dude. I think you're full of it. You know? And it wasn't disrespectful. And then he blocks me. Think, man, there's something wrong with this picture. You, you know what I mean? I'm going to do my own thing, and I've always done my own thing. 
believe me, I do not want to be in his position. Fuck you. You can have it all. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that responsibility, and I truly don't. But I'm telling you the facts. Uh, I truly believe it is my opinion that all these motherfuckers are being played by Mr. AJ himself. And like I said before, one question will prove one way or another that that some bitch is a shill. So next time you hear him on air, call him up. Hey, AJ, I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, do you pay federal income taxes, yes or no? Wait for that answer. And? You were saying? Spit it out, motherfucker. If he says, well, of course I am. Uh, if I don't, they'll... Dude, really? No, that couldn't be right. That means you're supporting the very people you're talking shit about. How's that possible? Hello? Boy, that, that's a tough question for a minute. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> i tell you what, I'll call him up tomorrow. I am not afraid to call him no motherfucker. I'll call him up all the time. I don't even give a shit. And say, I'll call him up. If he didn't, if he didn't recognize my voice, or his, I don't think his, well, <clears throat> I don't know, his webmaster would probably pick it out, but the new guys wouldn't. Jason's not with him anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. Black's not with him anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. Actually, Black is a cool cat, man. So is Jason Burmis. He's a cool cat, too. You know, not that, like, we do coffee together or anything. But, um, I'm sorry, man. I don't know about you, but when they're going to implement the National Defense Authorization Act, I kind of want to know for sure if Alex Jones is a fucking plant. You got that? I'm sorry. I just want to know for myself. Not for any of you knuckleheads, but I want to know for me. You know what I'm talking about? I want to know that that dude can be trusted. Because I bet you a lot of information passes through his, uh, let's say, his area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if trusted is the right word, but... You know what I'm saying? I... It is my opinion, the guy's a fucking show, man. I, it is my opinion that everybody is being played. And you know how he gets you? This is how he gets you, man. This is how Alex Jones gets you. He gives you, like, real information. Not all the time. A lot of it's bullshit, right? But he gives you, like, a little bit of information that's real deal. And he's shilling you out at the same time. Kind of like, well, excuse me, motherfucker. Why did you pussy out and pay off which has been found out just recently within the last year or 11 months or so that Wright Haven LLC was a corrupt body pulling off extortions all over the fucking nation why did you fucking settle out of court if you're a proponent of fucking freedom and all these other cock lickers are corrupt why are you settling out of court with these cock monkeys instead of fighting Something is wrong with that picture, man. That's a huge problem. I don't do any... No, I don't do any lectures. I'm just... I'm a nobody, dude. Nobody's don't do fucking... Nobody's don't, don't do lectures. <laughs> I'm a nobody, dude. But this is how he gets you. He'll give you some good information. He'll wake you up, up about some bullshit or whatever. And then meanwhile... He's planning his next fucking Alex Jones, this is outrageous bullshit fucking scam. Just like he did with the Young Turks. Hey, Chirpy's Monster, did I not predict that shit, that that shit was going to happen? I said, watch and see, within six months or less, this motherfucker's going to pull another stunt that gets Alex Jones all this fucking stupid-ass attention, and it's garbage. 
and the Young Turks one was fucking that was it man you pull that shit all over again you know what I mean yeah it's like a recipe and watch and see in another couple of months he'll do the same now if you notice uh, you know he's doing his freaking I don't know it's starting to look like nightly news but it, it's like a really bad B movie have you seen this shit it's a joke it's a fucking joke man you know he's trying to look all professional and shit and dude can you imagine Monty in a goddamn suit every night and this is the monograph news <laughs> would you take me serious I wouldn't <laughs> you know what I mean you're gonna put me in a suit I mean look the guy looks like a balding you know Young Turks or some shit, you know what I mean? He's trying to suit up and look professional and shit. And the announcer is kind of like, And uh, in the news tonight, um, Alex goes through the chicken man and... <laughs> it sounds stupid. It sounds like you're watching a goddamn cartoon. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. And, and in other news... <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that guy's doing. Now, if I if I ran a goddamn website that was getting monstrous hits like he claims, which I'm sure he's listen, I'm not trying to take anything away from the guy if he's on the up and up. I just believe that he's not for so many different reasons. Things are not adding up, man, at all. Especially with this latest bullshit where the police just walk up on them suddenly. And we're not talking about as soon as they open their mouth. They're standing there for a little while. And then she just kind of like, oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, why in the fuck are not you sweeping your telecommunications, debugging your goddamn computers, and getting rid of that goddamn on-store piece of shit that you're rolling around in? It doesn't make sense, bud. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? Here's the here's the weird thing about that, okay? Let's do some math. Why is he living in a gated community? That's first of all, in some million dollar house. Just curious. I mean, it's not my business what kind of money he's making, I guess. It's not my business. This is not. But when I look at when I look at Billy Cooper and I look at okay, this, this is what I look at, right? I look at Billy Cooper and I look at Alex Jones. When I look at Billy Cooper, this is what I see. I see like Randy Weaver. You know what I'm saying? All right? And then when I look at Alex Jones, I think of Michael Chertoff for some weird reason. So here you got, here you got Randy Weaver, right? Living out the sticks. He's, he does... You know, look like he lives in a pretty good sized house, home built or whatever, some property and whatnot. You know, it's no big deal. And then you got Michael Chertoff here. He's got fucking top notch security. He lives in a fucking tennis court. He's got a million dollar house. And fucking Michael Chertoff is like one of the most corrupt bastards of all time with his little fucking search my nuts machines. And then you got Randy Weaver over here breaking his ass to make a living. He's making a living. He's doing all right. And he, he doesn't have to live in a gated community. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, something's wrong with the picture. That's all. Just my opinion. <laughs>